which is cast glass. These are very big prisms, actually. James Carpenter is a New York-based artist. His firm has created installations for dozens of notable buildings, including two U.S. federal courthouses, this lens ceiling in Phoenix, Arizona, and these suspended light pillars in Salt Lake City, Utah. My work's really about how to enhance or influence in a very positive way people's experience of spaces, primarily through the introduction of light and manipulating light. Carpenter is among hundreds of American artists selected over the years to create original artwork for federal buildings. Artists are chosen by a panel assembled by the U.S. General Services Administration, or GSA, the government agency that oversees federal buildings. Artists can join a GSA registry to be considered. The process, from selection to installation, can take several years. Working with the GSA isn't always as profitable as selling to the private sector. Artists' commissions can range from $50,000 to over a million. But it isn't always about the money. This is for the nation. This is permanent. Uh, we will take care of it. They're looking at it as a way to participate in what's going on in the nation and to be part of its history. I think it's nice to capture that. That was certainly part of the appeal for Carpenter. He says when it comes to commercial projects, some developers want to invest the least amount of money and time possible. I think with the GSA, you're really trying to do something of exceptional quality and something that really speaks to the people using the building as, as an exceptional moment in their daily life. This is a building that's going to be here 100 years, 150 years. It's all about longevity, durability. The GSA collection dates back to the 1850s. Today, the GSA follows guiding principles for federal architecture set back in the 1960s. A presidential committee said fine art should be incorporated into federal buildings with a focus on the work of living American artists. It really is about today and who we are at the moment. We care for everything from the past, and we're just adding to the dialogue and to the future. In all, there are more than 26,000 pieces in the GSA collection. The majority are paintings created during the New Deal era in the 1930s, when the government employed salaried artists. So how much is this extensive collection worth? The federal government doesn't sell the artwork that we uh, have in our possession. So it has basically does not have a market value. But as a record of the history of American culture, the collection could be considered priceless. Dora McQuar, VOA News, Washington.